So with that, uh, let's just start with the, the multiple choice timed assessment. Let me get my uh, cheating. <laughs> Generative AI account ready. And I, as I've said uh, many times before, um, so if uh, during the assessment you do what I do, that is cheating. Uh, seriously, no joke. That is not allowed. Um, if you ever do that, you should never admit to doing such a thing because it's uh, frankly an academic honesty violation and there can be consequences beyond the grades for this class. Um, and, uh, and I think I've set up everything in this class where... Um, I don't have to worry so much about people cheating in terms of grades I assign because you have that one-on-one -on -one meeting. So um, if someone's, again, cheating their way through this, it won't help you because <laughs> I've seen that possibility and uh, adjust to the thing so that people don't gain unfair advantage that way. Um, now, you might be able to use a tool like this in a way that helps you learn. If you're, you've already gone through the multiple choice timed assessment and you're trying to figure study, figure out what you missed, how you missed it, what's the correct answer. And in that scenario, uh, the generative AI tool might be helpful because sometimes people are, I don't know, shy about asking questions, even though <laughs> not many people ask. So if you ask questions about the timed assessment questions, I have plenty of time to answer. So, <laughs> but I, I, for whatever reason, not many people ask. So if you are using this tool to study in that kind of scenario, then that's perfectly fine, uh, totally allowed. So with that, uh, I'm gonna start. So once I start, I'll have 10 minutes. So just want to make sure I got everything set up. Um, yeah, so let me start. And then quickly go through. I've been running out of time on this thing, so uh, I have to be quick about it. And I, so right after this question, I'm gonna start experimenting with not putting A, B, C, D because that could have saved me a little bit of time. And I have a feeling that I doesn't actually need those A, B, C, D markers to be able to um, interpret the text and give me an answer. So, B. Okay, so for the next question, I'm just going to put this in and just ask as soon as it's done. In the past, when I accidentally didn't put ABCDs, um, it actually still gave me a usable answer. So, going to see if that works. Oh, I guess it just describes the answer. That's fine. I can still read and do that. But uh, driven simple let me. Okay. Um, maybe I should put in ABCDs. Or not. Let me just for this attempt. Let me try with that. Because uh, I'm hoping uh, not to, um, hoping to avoid that uh, running out of time issue. Um, although, I think this set might be easier than the first three. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah, the figure description gave me love. Okay, question five. And I guess one of the things that's helping me is I'm not seeing a lot of mathematical expressions, so uh, just regular copy and paste works. I don't have to correct it for the equations that don't paste correctly. Trend was way was right. Perpendicular. To the direction of wave propagation. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the one. Okay. Um, and as is my usual practice, I'm not actually reading the response beyond figuring out which one you told me is the correct answer. I'm kind of turning off my physics brain uh, while I'm doing this. And if we have some time left, I think we might actually have time left at the end, the way uh, we are quickly going through. Um, Mainly because I'm not having to put in those A, B, C, D set of <laughs> uh, But it's a you know, trade-off. So I save that time, but I spend a little more time trying to figure out 
which answer it says is correct. Uh, so wait, 150. Uh, next harmonics are 304 and 456. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I think I only used like five minutes, right? Well, that saves a lot of time not putting ABCDs. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. Um, well, next semester. This is the last one for this semester. Again, I'm not giving people advice on how to cheat because you shouldn't be. Uh, and the, the consideration that I'm concerned with right now, that you know, I'm trying to save time in putting in answers, that's not a consideration that um, um, would concern you when you're using this properly as a learning tool. Um, oh, two centimeters to 20 meters, yeah. One, I think the downside is for that particular question, there's a high chance of misreading choices. Like these two look so identical to each other. Like if there was an ABCD, then it wouldn't confuse me. But when there's no ABCD, the centimeter versus meter could have confused me. Have to be in this 510. Okay. All right. So I got five minutes. That might be enough time to just quickly go through and see if uh, um, the tr the answer is correct or not. So this one, oscillator motion, frequency is independent. Yeah, that's correct. Um, heartbeat count uh, 15 bits. Uh, I multiply by four to get the bits per minute. That's correct. Um, natural frequency. No, uh, resonates, yeah, that is correct. Um, longest wavelength, yeah, that's three. Um, transverse, uh, oscillates, yeah, that's correct. Six wave velocity is, a, uh, yeah, that seems correct. Um, seven, 152. Um, yeah, it's nodes at both ends, so double and triple, yeah, that looks right. Ocean ties, 12 hour. Uh, Period of twi so um, period is time so time times of speed will give you the wavelength. Um, that I think fifteen yeah yeah nine hundred nine thousand kilometers that's right. Um, yeah I, when I when he was giving me the answers it sounded right so that's probably right. Um, so let me just double check its calculation. Um, So, yeah, speed divided by frequency, yeah, meters per second divided by one over second, yeah. So this number looks right, and this is different by a factor of a thousand. Yeah, it might have gotten 100%. Uh, <laughs> tuning fork, play together, bits are that, loosened, and then played again. Yeah, so it's getting closer to this frequency. Um, so must have started at five sixteen, and then now wait. Um, oh, it got this one wrong. Let's see, um, five sixteen hertz or five oh eight hertz. Loosen the frequency decreases and the beat frequency becomes 2 hertz 512 514 or that yeah so it actually got everything right up to here what it got wrong is this part um, it decreased from 516 to 514 so it should have been 514 um, if it's a 510 that it that would represent an increase from 504 uh, uh, 508 to 510. 
Yeah, so it uh, didn't quite work out um, the meaning of, but uh, everything through here is correct. So if you somehow had the time to read it through it and realize it made internal logical error with the last two uh, sentence or last two sentences, then um, you could correct it and get probably 100%. I think that's, a, yeah, wow. Um, I think a part of this was, this was actually an easier set. So... <laughs> It's like putting head on the head. I on an easier set, I instituted a new method that saved me a ton of time. So I have like mini than twenty seconds to play with. So um, so I'll just scroll scroll slowly scroll through this in the time we have, because uh, when we were answering this, I just went through this quickly. People who actually want you to read it might not have had the time to read it. Now you can, you know, just pause the video and read it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to assume because it got the answers correct, most of its reasoning is correct. Uh, except for the very last question where I corrected it. So. A few more questions. And you gotta kind of read for the line break and know where a choice ends. Um, GPT being a computer program can see the uh, code better because it can actually see where the line break is. But you as a human being has to judge like if a break is due to line break or due to word wrapping. So now I guess here if it doesn't get 100% that will be embarrassing for me because I've double checked and According to what I said, it should have gotten 100% with that last correction. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, 100%. So, yeah. All the answers, except for the very last one, were correct. And the last one, most of the reasoning was correct. It's just that it um, didn't um, correctly finish it. Because <laughs> as I've said many times before, it's a large language model. It doesn't actually think. It can uh, reproduce text that look similar to what it has seen. And either so in some of its training text, somebody made this mistake once um, and it's repeating it or um, something. I don't know. But it doesn't have the capacity to actually read through its own reasoning and realize, oh, I made a mistake here. Uh, which, you know, you do. But ChatGPT doesn't. 